up? I hope you all are doing great. If you're new, hi, my name is Himadri and I do post fashion and makeup related content on my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. Help me hit 100k soon because I will be doing a huge giveaway. So that is going to be a win-win situation for both of us and this will keep me motivated. So I'll keep creating some great content for you all. I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but I have been posting skincare videos on my channel. I am creating a series sort of a thing. And in one of my previous videos, you guys wanted me to try out the ordinary AHA BHA peeling solution. I'll add a product image right here so you guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, so the ordinary is not officially available in India. So I did my research. I contacted few Instagram authentic makeup stores and this product was out of stock everywhere. I got two Instagram pages where it was available tha, but they were selling it for 2600 to 2800 which is very very expensive. It is also for a 30ml bottle ke liye. plus the Ordinary is a very affordable skincare brand internationally so I didn't have any sense nahi laga that I should invest 2800 in a 30ml bottle and then I got to know about this the dot NK a uh, 10% AHA and 2% BHA exfoliating serum. This is kind of a dupe of the ordinary one. It's just that this is not red in color and uh, this is a little more mild in comparison to the ordinary one. And uh, with this, I also wanted to quickly mention that uh, when I was purchasing this product, I was very, very skeptical if I should get this or not because I got this from Nykaa and I was very, very shocked that Nykaa did not mention the ingredient list. So I was not sure what all is present in this product because I will be putting that on my face. I uh, came across Dot in Key's official website and there they had the ingredient list mentioned and then I got ordered my product. Alright, so today I'll be talking about the product, the packaging, but most importantly, I'll dive deep into the ingredient list because there are a couple of ingredients that I'm not a huge fan of. But the packaging, Dot NK is very well known for their very cute and trendy packaging and I love the packaging of this one as well. It has a magnetic door kind of a thingy which is very cute and very helpful and in the front the brand name, the product name and the key ingredients are mentioned and at the back you get a little description about the product, the directions, ingredient list, the manufacturing date, the price, the expiry date, everything is mentioned at the back which is pretty standard and when you open this the benefits of the ingredients are mentioned right here and really quickly i'll read out what the product claims to be so this is a ph balanced formula made with naturally derived fruit acids and soothing botanicals that act as a chemical exfoliant to gently wash away dead cells reverse sun damage reduce spots and blemishes it also reveals a fresher smoother complexion with a renewed glow. It also says that it is 100% safe and cruelty free as well, which is great. This is a clear plastic bottle and it comes with this uh, big giant dropper. The first ingredient is aqua, nothing fancy, it is water. The second ingredient is lactic acid, which is AHA. Another example of AHA is glycolic acid, but glycolic acid is a bit too strong in comparison to lactic acid. And I believe lactic acid is one of the most mildest AHAs that is present in the market. So lactic acid helps in treating hyperpigmentation, age spots and other factors that may lead to uneven or dull skin. The main benefit of lactic acid here is to improve your skin natural moisture and make your skin more moisturized and less dry. Third ingredient is glycolic acid and as I mentioned earlier, it is an AHA. It gently exfoliates your skin while unclogging your pores and allowing new skin to breathe. One more thing, glycolic acid is great for acne prone skin as it heals acne and it also makes other products absorb better. The next ingredient is salicylic acid, a very well known ingredient that is present in a lot of skincare products. As this ingredient helps in removing dead cells on top and reduces redness and swelling, this also decreases the number of pimples that form and speeds healing. The next ingredient, I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, I'll add it on the screen right here, but in short, it is known as M-I-T. So this is a preservative and it is mostly found in body care and skincare products. But when I was scrolling through and when I did my research, I found out that 
There are a lot of researchers that claim that this ingredient can be cancerous to the skin. And it also says that if you have very sensitive skin, you should stay away from this ingredient. Especially if you find a combination of CMIT and MIT together in a product, then it should be a big no-no. It's not safe for the skin. This is the seventh ingredient and I'm not very sure how it will react if you have super sensitive skin. I'm not really sure. I also found out this very interesting ingredient known as Salix Alba, which is also known as white willow bark. This ingredient is basically used to treat eczema. This is a component of salicylic acid, which makes it very safe for acne prone skin and great for treating acne. Some other great ingredients that I found was pineapple extract, grape seed extract, tomato fruit extract, borage flower extract and green apple extract. So I read about all these ingredients and they are great for the skin and I won't be going through these ingredients one by one because they have pretty much the same properties and same benefits and I just don't want to repeat the same thing again and again. The one ingredient that really threw me off was perfume. Earlier I did not know that perfumes can be very very harmful to the skin and once I started watching Hydem I got to know how harmful perfumes can be to the skin so I have been trying and avoiding using those products. The ingredient list is really nice apart from MIT and perfume that is present in this product. So now that we are talking about perfumes, uh, the fragrance of this one is not very pleasant. Uh, I really wish this product did not have any fragrance because if it not this product would have been an A plus from my side. Alright, so next talking about the texture of this product, it is quite thick. But once you start applying this on your face, it has a gel type texture. There are a few precautions that you need to keep in mind before applying this on your face because this is not your regular serum or moisturizer, we are using acids here. First things first, always do a patch test. So what I did was I took one pump of this and I applied it on the inner portions of my arm, let it sit for 10 minutes and then I washed it off with cold running water. There's one more thing mentioned here is that avoid contact with eyes both during application and while rinsing it off and add a good layer of sunscreen before stepping out. So how I like to apply this product is I like to cleanse my face very, very nicely and then take about two pumps of this and apply the product evenly all over my face and neck as well. Make sure to stay away from your eye area. Let it dry for 10 minutes and then I like to wash it off with cold running water as mentioned in the instructions. I have tried this product twice already and honestly speaking I haven't seen any drastic difference. I think it's because it is a milder version of the ordinary AHA BHA peeling solution and this has 10% um, AHA and 2% BHA whereas the ordinary one has 30% AHA and 2% BHA. I think you should expect overnight results with this product you have to be very consistent with this and this also says that you have to use this twice a week after using this product twice i feel that the texture of my skin has definitely improved i haven't seen any huge difference with my acne or acne pigmentation but i can definitely notice that my skin feels a lot softer after using this I'll keep updating you guys in my comment section and in the description box as well. If you have super sensitive skin, I would suggest that you should stay away from this product if you have very sensitive skin and it might make your skin condition worse. I'm just putting this disclaimer so you are aware. So that's it for today's video, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And before leaving, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also follow me on Instagram if you want to stay connected. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye!